All right, guys, I'm back, and look at these cookies that I just got. These look so good. These are Olive Pie cookies, so let's eat them. All right, so first I got this s'mores one. Look at all of this. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Look at that. Mmm. Mm-hmm. All right, and then next we got this animal cracker one. Mmm. S'mores, I'm gonna give a nine and a half out of 10. The animal cracker, probably a nine out of 10. It's really good. And here's the M&M one. This was loaded with M&Ms. Mmm. Mm-hmm. All right, and then next we got the Reese's peanut butter cup. And if you guys are a peanut butter fan, this one you would love. Mmm. Mm-hmm. All right, and then last we got this cookies and cream cookie. Look at that. It's got Hershey. Hershey's cookies and cream melted on top of this. Mmm. Mm-hmm. All right, and then I also got some s'mores bar to try. But if you look up Olive Pie Company, then you can find out where to get these cookies. They're actually really good. But they're pretty local. But look at this. This looks amazing. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Here's what I'm having for second dinner tonight. Let me show you how I made it, OMFG. I've just heated up some leftover steak from last night that I need to eat, OMFG. Look at the steam. We're making a steak quesadilla. Honestly, I never really buy beef, but look how freaking good this is. Last night I had a hankering for it and I'm really happy to have leftovers tonight. So I'm just chopping everything into little cubes so that it's easier to ingest in our quesadilla. Good God almighty, that's good. Wow, this is so good. Okay, all of our beef is nice and finely chopped up. I'm gonna set it to the side and we're gonna start on our sauce. Okay, our sauce is really simple. Obviously, we're gonna start with mayo. Best foods mayo, you guys. You should know the drill by now. I only like best foods mayo. I'm also gonna use a tiny squeeze of sour cream. This is different than mommy's secret sauce. This is just like a chipotle sauce. Here's the secret ingredient, chipotle peppers. I like the ones that come in a jar rather than a can so I can just take it out of my fridge as I please and it has a really long shelf life in there. And to that, just a little pinch of salt. And just like that, you have a chipotle crema. What I really like about these chipotle peppers is that they're not that spicy because I'm a little wimp shrimp girl. I don't like super spicy stuff. This just has a nice smoky flavor, a little tiny mild kick. 
super delicious. Hello, we're at my stove now. We're gonna heat my pan to a medium heat and I'm gonna throw some butter on there. I just ran out of regular butter so I'm using this olive oil butter. Whatever you have is fine, y'all. OMG, can I never just be regularly, organizedly, cleanly cooking? Seriously, just melt a nice thin layer into your pan. Okay, the butter has started to sizzle. I'm gonna slap a tortilla, a flour tortilla specifically, right onto that butt hair. So I'm gonna use some of these white sharp cheddar shreds. These are like big fat giant shreds. And then I also have some yellow sharp cheddar. This is a little milder than the other sharp cheddar, just for some variety. You can never have too much cheese, let's be honest. The last time I made a quesadilla on this page, it went terribly wrong. I'm hoping it goes right this time. I'm not gonna put as much sauce. I think that is what actually went wrong the last time I made a quesadilla. Let's just hope that this goes right. I'm not gonna put too much. And then finally, our star of the show, that beef that we just heated up is gonna go all up in here on that same half where we put the sauce. Cheese goes on both sides, baby. Don't forget it and never forget it. Whoa, this is like fully loaded with beef. OMFG, this is gonna be so good. I'm so excited. Relax. I'm just gonna let everything cook for a little minute till all the cheese melts and the tortilla gets golden brown and crispy and then I'll meet you at my desk. Y'all, she's ready. She looks so freaking good. OMG, OMG. She's gonna be so messy. Oh geez. Hello, and we have our side saws. She's messy, don't look. First of all, oh. No, you're not even seeing the good side. This is my redemption arc to that last quesadilla that I made. OMG, OMG. Look at the crust on this freaking tortilla. My mouth is watering so much. I need to take a bite. I was gonna cut her, but I feel like she's more of a whole quesadilla bite vibe. What the freak did I just make? Wait, I just made the best food in the world. <laughs> Wait a second. This is so weird and odd. I just made the best looking food in the world. Just please, please have a bite. <laughs> and she's being such a good girl. Look how well she's holding together. She's not pouring out anywhere. Oh my God. Why does second dinner hit better than first dinner? What's that logic? I don't even know how to describe to you in words how good this is right now. The amount of cheese is so perfect. That steak is so good, but honestly, if you put chicken or like beans or any leftover meat you had in your fridge, it would honestly probably be delicious too. The sauce, the extra flavor from the chipotle crema. Girl, go make yourself a nighttime quesadilla. Go make yourself a late night quesadilla right now. Does this look bust or what? It's fucking 7 a.m. right now on the dot. It's like 7.01. Bone apple teeth. <sighs> I came home at midnight last night. 
and then I just fell asleep. Like, I just changed and I fell asleep. It was disgusting. Because I went to a rave last night for Elenium. It was so much fun, but I was so tired. I didn't shower before I slept. So then I woke up at 5 a.m. Naturally, took a shower, and then I just, like, stayed awake. So then I did homework, and then I did work. And then now I'm eating breakfast, and then I'm going to go to the gym later. <laughs> Trying to get as many things done as I can before I leave again at 2. It's just day two of the same, like, tour. But yesterday was really good because he brought out, like, said, like, Elena brought out, said this guy. So I'm excited to see who he brings out today. Like, I hope it's slander or something. I actually have a lot of work to catch up on. Both work and homework. All of my assignments for this week for all my classes are due tomorrow night. 11.59 Also, is it just me? But I don't feel the Lunar New Year spirit this year I'm not saying I feel like Bad or I feel like The spirits feel bad right now I'm just saying I don't feel it Like I don't really see The lanterns up anywhere In my house or like on the streets I don't know like, you guys know how, like, Christmas didn't Christmas this year? Like, it didn't feel like Christmas. Yeah, it doesn't feel like Lunar New Year to me anymore. Either I am too old or or really because it really truly is anticlimactic this year. Anyways. Bye, guys. Let's try this week's crumble cookies. First up, we have Sugar Shark. Look at how adorable this cookie is. This gummy is really good. It tastes like any type of like fruit gummy that you would eat. Very simple cookie, delicious, sweet. The gummy tastes really good. Snickerdoodle cookie. I am so excited for this one. There's a good balance between cinnamon dust on top and the sweetness of the frosting. I think it's perfect. Confetti. Such a cute and simple, fun cookie. I love anything with sprinkles in it, so. If you want a crumble cookie and you want something that's not too sweet, I would probably go for this one. It is sweet because it's a cookie, obviously, but there's no frosting on there that's going to make it extra sweet like the other cookies. Next up, we have peanut butter cup featuring Reese's. Look at the detail, the drizzle, the peanut butter and chocolate in the middle. Mm -hmm. This one is amazing tastes just like a Reese's. Perfect amount of melted for me. Next up, we have our Berry Trifle Cake Cup. We're gonna open it together. Ooh, that looks good. Look at that first bite. Wow. There's pieces of actual blueberry in here, layered with some type of frosting, I believe. 100% believe this is worth the extra money that it cost. And finally, our semi-sweet chocolate chunk. First place, second place, third place, fourth place, and fifth place. 
I'm not surprised, but once again, crumble cookies exceeded my expectations. This week's cookies were so good and I cannot wait to try next week's cookies. Really quick, I just wanted to thank everyone too for the support on last week's crumble video. I truly, truly appreciate it. And to all my new followers, I appreciate you guys.